Hello, this is a Bechstein Model 3 upright piano, 127 centimetres tall, made in 1897. Just come into stock and just seeing what sort of work needs to be done on it and also uh, appreciating the piano, which I do very much. Bechstein Model 3 has beautiful casework and uh, really warm tone too. Uh, looking at the sides here, we can see and this has been fully restored. There's one issue that we have with it which we've got to deal with, we'll look at later on, but first of all let's appreciate the piano. Um, I, this inlay is particularly striking. Um, there's little white flecks here that we're going to try and try and improve and also the case I think needs just a little bit of livening up, but it is good French polish. The keys are absolutely perfect, 88 keys on the Model 3, unlike the Model 4 and 5 which have 85 keys. Um, these are all pre-1902 pianos, and that's what uh, produces the issue, uh, where the issue lies, I should say. Uh, but the, generally, the piano is it's, it's just redone in about 2015, so not very long ago. See the fall of the piano. When you repolish rosewood, it always does come out so beautifully, and this is uh, as beautiful as they get, really. Uh, not too reflective, so it's good French polish. It's, deliberately not made reflective for that reason and so not high polished because otherwise you just see reflection on it and the far side of the piano equally beautiful so uh, rather the left hand side of the piano and it's in perfect condition so extremely grateful to get this piano into stock so internally it looks spectacular the good quality tapes here they're leather um, ended tapes which we like to put on as well and the keys are very tight. Well, everything's been done well by um, an experienced Beckstein restorer who does like Becksteins and does lots of them. Uh, there's a Harrods uh, label there. Well, that number, according to our records, dates to about 1951. So pass through Harrods, maybe through their reconditioning place, which was apparently under the main road. They used to uh, we'll have a tunnel under the main road where they took their pianos um, apparently, so but that's someone who worked in 1970. I don't know if they uh, still they did that in 1950s. But just looking now at the regulation of the piano, we can see that it's coming off. The, the hammers are sorry, the dampers are coming off reasonably halfway. So we're just trying to tidy it up if we can. There, I think they're, re they're more or less halfway. Here, they're a little bit early in the base, so. That's something we'll try and improve because the springs can make a, quite a lot of difference to the touch if they're a bit early, it feels a bit heavy. So we'll just look into that as something to try and improve. Um, but the, the tone of the piano is just, well, spectacular really. You don't get a much better tone on an upright than that. At least in my opinion, it's very mellow. It also has some power if you want it to. That's the main singing area. Warm tenor ends. And solid bass. And these are very high quality strings that have been put on, so it's thought very well there and put the best quality strings you can. And good quality treble strings. Now you might have noticed that I'd marked some tuning pins here. Um, now I've pitch raised it from just under concert pitch to about 442 just to test all the pins because a common problem with pre-1902 Beckstein uprights or rather models 1 to 5 is that the, the, the rest plank even if you put new tuning pins in if you put longer ones in you still end up with some of them being loose. The rest plank itself behind here, the wood behind uh, doesn't seem to stand up to uh, being, reconditioned, being restored like this in for modern central heating so we need to put a new rest plank in which we've mentioned many times before on videos and I've marked the loose ones. Uh, what I'm intending to do is to do another video after this just to try and use something called CA glue, it used to be called super glue, which some people say if you inject it tightens the pins. Um, because this is a high quality restoration I'm not prepared to uh, to, to do it on this one uh, but if, if you've got an inexpensive piano and you want it to if the tuning pins are loose, you could use CA glue apparently. Now I say apparently because it's not something I've done myself. And I want to see if we, I can recommend it to our team to do. If you're in the trade and would like to say yes to that or no to that, please do 
uh, give your opinion. Now, the reason I'm definitely going to redo this anyway is because these two, um, I, I've tried resetting. When you reset a pin, you hit it slightly further in. That one's slightly further in, so that, that's been reset. Um, there's one up here that I did. Uh, I can't remember which one now, but sit, just knock it slightly further in. Hopefully that resets them. Now this is a rest pin setter, tuning pin setter, and it's got square end. You put it on there and hold it tight while you hit the end of this with a hammer. Um, and you don't have to knock it all the way in. The idea is to roughen the wood up. So then ho it, hopefully it becomes tight enough. But the problem is that these ones at the end here, uh, um, I, you can't hit them because there's not enough space. So not enough space to get a hammer onto that, and uh, let alone this little one at the end here. I've seen a Richard Lip, which uh, uh, also has a piece of wood here. We had one uh, tremendous piano, but it was difficult to tune. We had to get a smaller tuning lever uh, because there wasn't enough space here to tune it properly. Um, so that's impossible to reset those, and they're both loose. If we listen to we listen to the, um, the octaves and see what I mean, so that's the one before. Even turning it, it doesn't tighten up. So if I try pushing my tuning lever up, it's pulled back down again. It's just not tight enough in the in the in the plank in the uh, rest plank. So um, I'll, I'll be making another video about that. So just let's just look at the summary of this piano first. I just wanted to say that every, all the work has been done. If you look here, you'll see that there's some new springs at the back there for the dampers. So. This is a restorer who does particularly like restoring Becksteins and knows how to do them well. Uh, things like the set-off needs to be quite close on this model because, sorry, I beg your pardon, the, 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 the back check, the check needs to be quite close because it has this extra spring here. Um, and uh, we mentioned this before in other videos, so I find going a bit faster than this one. There's a lot to get through. Um, beautiful system of adjustment here. So generally very well made. There, I noticed one or two pins I've marked them with chalk. One or two pins have, have come out. If you look at that one, for instance, um, the, the centre pin. So they need checking. I'm going to check them all, really. There's another one come out here. Um, and uh, that's probably too loose in the centre wood there. Um, not sure why that one's marked. That's another reason. But there are some things to do there. So that was a, a tight um, a spring that wasn't working very well. So check the whole piano over. Obviously, we want it to be perfect. I didn't show you the back of the piano, but I'm showing it to you because when it's got new rest plank, you'll see that they've dug the old one out. Um, I have a video where you can see the top of the rest plank. Um, if you look at rest, rest plank, put, go onto our YouTube channel and put in rest plank and you'll hopefully find that one. And you can see, uh, well, you can see when they're changed that, that there's, there's a clear indication that they've had to be dug out um, and the new one's replaced there. And this one hasn't been replaced. As you can see, it's all smooth there. Here's the check sheet and you can see the details of the piano written at the top. Perfect ivory keyboard, by the way, that's very encouraging. Fully restored in, I think, between 2010 and 2015, so relatively recent, with best parts, and but the tuning block is original and needs replacing. So that's so, so, so common, and I've, we put about 10 of them, I think, where they have been, well, some of them haven't been restored at all, but some have been fully restored and they still need new rest planks. So if you are restoring a Beckstein, model one to five then r thoroughly recommend that you change the rest plank um, don't just think that the bigger tuning pins or longer ones are going to sort uh, going to make be tight the majority of them are tight but with two sections that aren't particularly tight there'll be another video on that in a, uh, i'm going to put a link at the bottom of this one but um, so replace the tuning block repair loose flanges there's some pins coming out there and the uh, there's a screw on the music desk is sticking out. So just small things like that and trying to improve the, the casework a little bit as well. Um, then last of all, the, the key weighting, it's lightish. Now, if you're an occasional player, you might like that. 48 grams is perfectly acceptable. 42 is a bit uh, low, so we could try and increase that a bit for you um, if you want to even it out. And it would be suitable for study. A really study pianos, maybe 50 grams average will be better, but new pianos like the new Forex we've got, they're usually about 50 grams, uh, plus or minus two. This has more variation than plus or minus two, as you can see. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, we're just going to play the piano, and then uh, afterwards, as I say, we're going to make another video. Forgot to mention that a lot of tuners say you can inject the CA glue on uprights. Um, you should hold something underneath so the glue doesn't drip below into the tuning back without putting them on their back. We're going to put this on its back because I don't want to, we're going to, 
pro probably reuse the same strings. The advantage of reusing the strings if they're really high quality is that you haven't got to wait till they're stretched. It's a two or three months time when you get the piano back that they're stretching and going out of tune. Uh, and if this quality is the same, and really I don't think we're going to improve on that. It's a beautiful, beautiful tone. As I say, the restorer knew exactly how to restore Becksteins to get the maximum amount of them. The hammers have been refaced, by the way, original hammers, but he usually does reface the hammers. Um, and they're really well done, beautifully done. They reface so that they hit all three strings at the same time and so on. So that's really important. So we're going to put the piano on its back, so, so, so to speak. This is a piano tilter. I don't know if there's another trade name for that, but uh, it's going to go on here and then we're going to inject the pins uh, with the piano like a grand piano basically, in the same sort of position.